What's going on YouTube? Welcome in. Today we got a beautiful build for you. Today we're building what's called the Tough System. The CME system that's going over on our quick ships that are ready to purchase at any time over on our website at sensebelt.com slash ready to ship. But this system right here is an absolute beauty. We're going all in on Asus Tough components, but we are putting it in the beautiful OG Lean Lee 011 dynamic. We're starting off with the B650 coming in from Asus and the Tough version. It's got some Wi-Fi, B650 Tough. On top of that, we're cooling it with the LC2, which is an Asus Tough cooler. It looks absolutely stunning. We got three additional tough TF120. That's right, the TF120s. We've got a two terabyte drive coming from Kingston for storage. We have 32 gigs of 6,000 CL30 RAM coming from the team, the Delta RGB. Again, and we're, we're powering it all off with the beautiful, the tough 850 ATX 3.0 power supply coming in from Asus. And then we're to top it all off, 4070 Ti, tough OC from Asus in the RTX 4070 Ti Super. Absolutely beautiful build. Let us know what you think down below. Is this build tough enough for you? Gonna hit you with the memes. <laughs> if you like what you see, make sure to hit that like, that like on down below. If you like it even more, make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you see more beautiful builds like this right here. And if you wanna catch us live on a raw like it is right now as we record these butchered intros, you can join us any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday over our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash since. We stream around 10 a.m. Eastern, and we hope to see you soon. Look at all the tough, I mean, it's like a free Asus ad right there. Sheesh. No, this is actually going to be a quick ship build. It's going to be a quick ship build. It's going to be like 2400 bucks over on our website. It's a really killer system. Actually, phenomenal deal. All right, before everything down here off the top. All right, let's get started on the build. Let's go top down. This beautiful B650 Plus Wi-Fi board. There it is. There's that beautiful B650 Tough board. I really like the board. I think the Tough lines come along quite a bit from uh, Asus. It looks really, really good. Ooh, they changed the new... Uh, it used to be foam now. Now they got a plastic insert for the 700 X3Ds. We must just change it on a, this used to be a foam, now it's plastic. All right, let's get the CPU down and in. Socket looks good, no bent pins, let's get the CPU down and in. Yeah, the, the pre-built market in EU is really, really, really expensive. We've seen that. We get a lot of people who do order from, so they, even with our custom, even with like paying for customs, it's cheaper than buying pre-built over there. On top of that, like the, the amount of, like you're limited to a lot of parts too. You know, they, for some reason, some of the distribution doesn't get as uh, widely dispersed in EU. There we go, looking good. Let's get our NVMe drive out. It's a two terabyte NVMe drive from Kingston. It's like it's like three and a half gigs a second, so it's pretty good speed. Not super fast, but uh, but also very good. We are gonna put it down here in one of the lower slots, so we leave the, uh, M the, the Gen 5 speed up here. Down we go with a two terabyte NV2 from Kingston. Let's get our cooler standoffs in place. We the factory standoffs. We can build around the existing um, graphics we already have. If you have a good graphics card, you want to get a built around that graphics card, we can definitely do that. We have a lot of people who have like 3080 Ti's or 3090's, they don't want to upgrade their GPU, so it's still viable. And we'll build a system around that. And they can just have it ready to just slap their GPU in when they get it. We've got our standoffs in place. It's in tights. Put our plastic collars back in here, extras they give you. Put the RAM out, 6,000 CL30 RAM today from Team Group. Delta RAM matches the aesthetic really well on the tough boards. There we go, it's one stick in. Second stick going down and in. There we go, looking good. Motherboard's built the B650 Tough Plus Wi-Fi from uh, Asus, looking great. 700X3 down the socket. Down below here we have a two terabyte NV2 coming from Kingston. And then we have 6,000 CL30 RAM, 32 gigs from Team and a T-Force Delta RGB. And then we have our standoffs in place for the LC2 360 IO coming from Asus as well. We're gonna slide the board aside and we're gonna get out the OG today, guys. We have the OG O11 Dynamic. I don't even think they make these anymore. We had a couple still in stock. I was like, you know what, let's, put, let's build something in it. It's a hundred dollar case, looking great. It still looks great in today in any system today. And with the 4070 Ti Super, it's not an overly huge card. So we can get it in. There we go, chat. There's our OG. 11. Been a hot minute to be built in this beauty. This is an OG Ali and the O11. They don't see a lot of them. I don't think they're even available anymore. We had one, I was like, you know, let's build something nice in it, you know? We spin this around, we're gonna go top down. Let's go top down, get this motherboard in. Here we go with the beautiful tough. Looking good. Let's get our screws down and in. All right, and we go. All of our screws are in. Flip this up, give you a front close up. There we go. All right, let's get our front panel connections going before we move on to our fans. All right, first up is going to be our Type C. There we go. Type C's in. Next will be our USB 3.0 header. All in there. Our HD audio. There are front panel connections. We have Hard drive LED, power switch, power LED. All right, power, power, power cables are in. Those are HD audio, looking good, all in there. Awesome. 
throw our side fans. Again, we have the TFs today. This TF 120s is a tough fans. Yeah, there's definitely tough gaming on that. Really well packaged. Like, actually, kind of hard to get out packaging. <laughs> very stubborn, but very good looking fans. We've used them before, they're very good fans. Definitely a premium fan from Asus without being a, getting into like the lean lean and like higher end fan price market. It's had a power controller, it's nice to have. It runs into a PWM, you have a PWM splitter as well. This is for the RGB. Yeah, it's the RGB. Brightness, speed, color, to put all in the back here. I don't know if we're gonna use that controller though. We're gonna put it probably in the box because we have, um, want everything to sync. And having that controller with the other one, we're gonna run all off the motherboard. So we'll run a, uh, a splitter cable. We have, I have three pin splitter cables. So we'll save all these. We will use a fan splitter cable, but we'll give all these and put this in the box for the customer to have because you don't really need the controller. It's not like USB. It's just like a manual controller in case you don't have onboard. So we'll use the onboard instead. Fans are all good. All right, uh, power supply next chat. We have the beautiful 850G, or uh, 850, I think it's not 850, just 850. It used to be, uh, I think it used to be called the 850G, but it's the 850 tough power supply today, ATX 3.0. First off, we will need our 24, uh, sorry, our uh, ATX 3.0. CPU one, CPU two, no SATA today, which is nice. All right, SATA, SATA PCIe 24 pin main. All right, all these other cables will go in the box. We just need four cables today, 24 pin main, our two CPU and our GPU power cables. Take this all thing off the power supply. Let's get this bad boy in. There we go. EPS, CPU power. There we go. Looking good. 24 pin main. There we go. All right, next we're gonna work on our cooler chat. You can see what we're doing here. There's our cable manager looking nice and clean. Start working on this cooler. This fan's installed. Get our, our fan screws. There we go. Do put our bracket on. Let's get ready to mount this chat. So what we're gonna do for this one, is since this is gonna be a super uh, torque down style, we're gonna go top down really quick. Get our thermal paste out. Get ready to get this on here. Get our thermal paste. This looks all like Noctua's tube design. There we go, chat. There we go, looking good. Get our screws on here. Even pressure, all right, good to go. Let's pick this back up. Let's get working on starting getting this secured. We have to tuck our RGB cable around, give the rear cable manager view again while we work on this. Next, we have to run our fans. Before that, actually, I want to run this RGB header up and around because it's a uh, it's hard reach. All right, let's get a screw into the rad to hold it in place. Let's get all three corners in, or all, uh, sorry, all four corners in, the last three corners, and then we'll spin it around so you have to take a look at this while we get all the cables managed. Looking good. One more, one more RGB connection back here before you zip tie everything up. Finish up the last few of our rad screws and then we get this all ready for the GPU. There we go. Get the GPU chat. You guys ready for this big boy? 4070 Ti Super. Get the bad boy opened up. It's tough, of course. All right, this chat is a beautiful 4070 Ti Super. Let me get everything opened up on this bad boy. Three. All right, there is a car ready to go. Let's get our slots opened up here that we need. All right, here we go, chat. And we go with the, the Chungus, the Thungus from the Chungus. 4070 Ti Super in three, two, one. There we go. Nice little thong there. Really good support. This GPU doesn't even move. Really well supported by the board. Ace has been doing a big, really working on reinforcing their board slots. And they've been doing a really good job with that. There we go, and then we go with our cable. All the power we need, perfect there. Looking good. All right, once we get the zips, I will show you guys all the cable management in the back. Looking nice and neat. There's our cable management in the back. Super clean, really nice. So we're ready to light up this beautiful PC. Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure to hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. Come on over, hang out, chat it up with us, watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, 
Let's go.